Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and today I want to introduce to you a tool that's a content automation platform that's going to let you write content faster. Now, this is for people who want to save time when writing content and not having to write it from scratch, or people who don't want to hire an external writer to write the whole content for you. So this tool will help you with the AI technology that's backed by GP3 technology. Now, the cool part about this is that the platform is developing, plus the GP3 technology is also developing further. So each time the results will be even better. So that's a good part about this. Now, this tool that I'm talking about is called CrawlQ and it's an AI based technology. In my case, AI is a little bit overrated, but it's good. All right. So let's go check this out. I'm going to take you to the platform so you can actually see what you're going to be able to expect with CrawlQ. So let's go jump over to my desktop. All right, guys, this is CrawlQ website. And if you guys want to grab a deal that's going on right now, do check a link in the description, which is an affiliate link. And if you buy from that link, it gives you a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. Now, this is a quick overview of the things that you can expect in CrawlQ because there's several tools inside of CrawlQ. So you get all of that with that deal that's on right now. Now, let's go jump over to the dashboard from CrawlQ. And the first thing that we're going to do is create a workspace. Now, heads up, this is going to be a quick overview. If you guys want to be, want to view a video where there's talk of every single tool that's in here, that link will be in the description also for that video. Okay. So let's start off with a workspace name. And then in this case, we're going to work with automation, right? So we're going to talk about Zapier and we're just going to say that's what it's about. All right. Domain name is going to be zapier.com. Let's go create. Okay, and the first thing that it's going to ask us is to write this specific content that's going to be used for the AI content that's going to be generated later on. So for everything that we need to fill out here, there will be examples of it right here. So for example, what is a sub niche? Well, we got the information down here, micro niche, vertical, ideal prospect and overview. So let me fill that in and we'll jump over to the next part. Okay, let's go jump over to get started. All right, so now we can get started with quick AI gains or deep dive. So let's get started with quick AI gains. We have these examples, for example, blog and articles. Are we going to use this or is that what we need right now? Do we need a sales copywriting, a text rewriter or a text summarization? In this case, we'll start off with blog and articles. So let's get started with this one. And what's my initial idea is Zapier automation, right? Because that's what we're talking about right now. And what are we going to use? Well, we need authority headlines, blog tool, or meta description and title. Let's go with authority headlines. Let's go into next and we'll go step by step. Now, one of the things I do wish CrawlQ had is like a better flow for this, like a, an easier way to, to get started. It kind of gets a little confusing with all these tabs and information, but you'll get the idea in this video. So what are we going to do? State one or two results, fear, time frame, headline scripts, advanced powers, profitable words, title scripts. This one sounds good. Okay, let's go next. And now we get asked more questions. Now, these are basic questions that are going to help the GP3 technology create that content for you. So the better you write these answers, the better the results are going to be. Now, in this case, I am not going to take a lot of time doing this. So we have two options right here. We can fill with examples, which helps out a lot, or use the examples from here or write your own. In this case, we'll fill examples. Again, we can fine tune this right now if we needed to, but we're fine for now because it's kind of similar. We do want to get B2B sales and marketing SaaS domains. And these are, you can see the questions, how they're asked. So let's go to next. Okay. And choose or add your content relevant to your, to your niche. All right. So what's your niche about? Is one of these, is it okay? And if we're good to go, we can go ahead and generate. And let's wait for that to generate. All right, so remember the title is Sapier Automation and we get some intros right here. So for example, see this right here? Um, obviously, I'm not gonna take the whole video reading these out, but you can check these out for yourself when you write your own content. But we have, for example, headline one, headline two, and you can see it's built in things that I didn't even write. So for example, well, obviously I didn't even write all of this, but it's there. So for example, introduction about Sapier Automation, my target niche is automation, SaaS founders, sales marketing, SaaS founders, et cetera, et cetera. So it creates that content automatically. Now on the right, we have really useful information. First thing is we have the overview. So the average header, the average image, the average words for that niche that we're talking about right now, right? And average words and average topics. So headlines, what do we got? Connect your apps and automate workflows, right? So that's, that's good. Sounds good. 
So tag and headlines that we got right here that are interesting that we should have. Paragraphs, all right? So these are grabbing paragraphs from other websites as competitors that are targeting with that keywords that we're using, right? So these people probably talked about automation, web hooks, um, uh, workflows, or even Zapier. So right here, even Zapier's mentioned right there. And you get an idea of what's going on. Topics, all right? So these are the tap topics that are used. Questions that might be asked. In this case, there's none. Reviews. Are there any reviews based on this? So yes, so you get the reviews right here. The MRR and topic cluster, right? So we wanna search for that, we can generate it. So that's one of the ways that we can generate this content that we need. Let's go back and when we get started, like I said before, I wish they worked a little bit better on their flow and I wish they um, listened on this on the video so they even further develop this. When we get started and we created the project, it started off with two options and then we go from there. But once you go, when, once you jump into that phase, we start into this options. So we have a lot of options available right here. You we got market research. Um, again, if you want to view a video where everything is explained one by one, that link will be in the description. In this case, like I said, quick overview. So market research, we got all these tools available. And we can start off with a niche, for example. Let's test this one out. And we have to write the content here so it helps us generate that content, right? So we have several questions right here. And one of the cool things about it is it helps out with AI, all right? So you can fill it with example or you can use fill with AI, but you have to like help it out a bit in the beginning. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I wanted to define your niche semantics, all right? If I write fill with AI, it's gonna, hey, Right, two to three inputs first, so then it helps out with the next generation. So main topic of interest would be app automation, workflows, and the long tail topic would be, let me write that. Um, I'm gonna be redundant here, but automating apps for SaaS, all right? So I wrote, I wrote two of them, let's see if it helps out with AI. Yeah, it's gonna work. The other way you could do it is fill the examples and then work with that. So once you have the generated AI, you can see what it says, right? We can fine tune this if we need software tools. In this case, we're gonna, not gonna take a lot of time in this video, but we're just gonna say it's okay. Obviously, the results are gonna be based on what's written, right? Um, we're just going through it fast here. Okay, let's save this. Okay, let's refresh. And we got the little check mark on this one because we already created it. Now we can generate the insights for this if we like. So for example, generate. Now all this information helps out with all the content that we're going to be generating here on Crawl Queue. So it's really important that you fill as much as possible with the right information. So now we got the information here on the right, some insights. See, we got some questions and answers. Some my niche schematics is cloud-based software, software as a service. Uh, please refer to this definition. We got a lot of content right here that we can use. Like I said, a lot of tools going on right here. Let's go back to dashboard. And there's more things that we can do like searches, search intent discovery and market spying wizard. All this is good information that you're gonna need to make your content stand out and be unique, right? Competitor differentiation, all right? So we can do a competitor, competitor analysis. So we, All right, so now we got the information for Integromat right here. So we got the keywords that they're using. For example, crack essential automation demands, developer integrate, Integromat allows anyone. So they got some key phrases there. So the read time is 89, readability is 9th to 10th grade. So the words that they are using in this website are not so easy to read um, for most people, right? Reading ease, fairly difficult. The word count for that, sentiment is positive and sentence count. We also get the global internet traffic for this. So this is based on Alexa's reading. So we got per million views, per million views, the information. All this is useful information. Technology categories, you got that there. Next thing we have is contextual comparison. So we enter two URLs. So for example, in this case, we'll do zapier.com and integralmat.com. So we get all that information based on these two sites. Let's wait for that to load. Okay, so now we got the two sites right here and we get their information for both. 
So remember where we saw the example of the readability score for integral math, which is on the right, 9th to 10th grade. On Zapier, it's based on 4th grade. So it's much easier, and they're using words that are more common in, for example, English language, where they say it's a 4th grade. I mean, that could be good because if you're targeting people who are, I don't know, not as studied, I would say, then this is good. But if they, if you want to reach an audience where they are more, I don't know, people who are studied at university or something like that, then you want to have a better re readability score. Unless you want to target everyone, right? You got your word cloud right here. You got your key phrases used on this website. So this is information that you can use when you write your own content or your own keywords for your blog post and so on and so forth. Now for Integral Math, these are the ones that we got. Now there's more tools like Organic Compet Competition Wizard, Topic Modeling, we have an overview, Topic Clusters, and it just, it really extends. This is, we can go really dive deep into this, so it might be too time consuming. But like I said, a lot of tools in this crawl queue. The content automation, which we started off with, but there's way more than you can do with it. So depending on what you need, it's what we can select right here. So for example, what do we need? Sales copy and writing wizard, right? And then we got the category right here. So for example, is it going to be an email scripts, authority webinar? Is it going to be for cold scripts, webinar promotion, power bullet list scripts? And we select and we go on and so forth. Text summarized. So if you want to provide a URL, for example, let's do Integral Math. Come, all right. And what length of content do we want? Let's go all out with max 200 and let's generate. And there, there we go. It generated this content based on the website. So I grabbed information and it created this result, which is pretty useful because it's a text summarized of what's going on. So for example, it grabbed like the, the header, like Integral Math lets you connect apps and automate workflows in a few clicks. Move data between apps, between app, blah, 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 right? You got to read the whole thing. So it's pretty cool. The AI content rewrite. So for example, if you want to spin this, um, let me go into Quantum Mix and let me grab, let me see. Oh, no, Alex, I don't need you. All right, let's grab this right here. So if we wanted to rewrite that because for several reasons, right? That could be, let's rewrite it, all right? So this is the original one, and you're gonna see that some words are spinned right here. So let's see, platform helps create quality content to engage with your audience. All right, that's pretty much the same. Let me go, no, let's do A-B testing, it's a general, rewrite again. Hmm, must be too small of a content. Let me grab content from somewhere else. Let's grab this right here. All right, let's go. All right, let me see, master rewriting with SEO skills, with automation. Hmm, not sure why it's not rewriting the content, but the idea is that it changes up some words that it can, so it it's not the same as the original content, so it sounds different, right? But you get also over here, results, okay? And we got the stitches in here for common words. For example, these are, like I said before, these are common words that can be changed, but to something that's similar, right? That's It says the same, but in a different way. That's the way it rewrites. The uncommon words, so for example, these, emotional words, and power words. These are all right there where it rewrites in. And then we have the content writer, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and grab this. And we already tested this one. Let's go to block tool. Let's go next. Let's write the content. In this case, we'll fill it with the example. Let's go to next. Okay, so now we have our content right here. Again, like I said, we only wrote some basic answers there and it generates the content. That's the whole idea of crawl queue, okay? So we got the information here. We can also edit that and we got more information over here. We got the overview, which we saw already in the beginning, but again, with headlines, paragraph, topics, questions, reviews, MMR, and topic cluster. So you have all of that there. So basically that is the overview of crawl queue. The main idea is, in my opinion, to use the content re content um, creator, which generates, and the market research. Those are the two like most powerful tools there. So you can create your own unique content and like just.
take off with SEO, right? Because it's going to make content more unique and it's going to be way easier for you to write. So in this case, you save money by not having to hire a copywriter and you save money by saving time if you're having to do this by yourself. But there you go, guys. Again, if you guys want to grab the deals going on right now, there will be a link in the description. And well, that's about it. I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later.